Um, now we've got four scholarship signings. Um, first of all, could you just kind of go through all four and, and sort of tell us why you've, you've landed on, on each of those four players? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, Georgia Candy is going to be a goalkeeper for us. So, um, we would have really loved to have Georgia with us and involved last year and obviously the restrictions that we're under um, and being able to take us, like the players away to Australia uh, meant that that couldn't happen but she's been working really really hard here in the academy she has definitely got um, the ability to be a future fern so for us it was a bit of a no-brainer we obviously struggled last year with only having two goalkeepers um, you know we had to put Charlotte Lancaster in as our second goalkeeper for one of the games so it's also a big learning for us now we're here and we're allowed more scholarship players like a goalkeeper was always going to be one of the ones that we wanted to bring in and, and Candy's the, the the best so um, and that's what we wanted yep. mm -hmm. um, with Charlotte so Charlotte um, was with us with the 20 she was obviously with us last year and really grew throughout the season um, with the 20 she showed like amazing impact she um, has like this crazy aggression within training you kind of never really know what she's going to do um, and that's quite like a, a nice thing as a coach she can be unpredictable but you know that when she comes on um, and even if she starts she's going to give like 110 percent for the team and some of the players you know in the 20s they'd look and they'd see that Charlotte was coming on and it gave them like a boost and a bit of hope because they knew she was going to make impact and you know we want to invest in her and make sure that we continue to help her develop as a really exciting forward for us and she has a great left foot so that also helps um, with Mona Mona again like with the restrictions that we're under um, we always knew that we wanted to um, invest in the team and bring in a bit more experience so obviously that means even though we've got more Kiwi spots, it means that we might not be able to offer full, scho full spots to everyone. And Mona was amazing. She has this incredible technique about her. She's caught the eye of Yetka already. Um, she worked really well in a number of positions last year and her, she was just incredible when I talked to her about being a scholarship spot and she was stoked to get the opportunity to continue to develop so she'll be amazing when she comes. And then um, Mickey Foster, so we've been watching her for a little while. She was obviously the captain of the under 17s and did a great job as a fullback. She can play pretty much anywhere, like she's utilised in so many positions. She's a great person, she understands high performance and when I spoke to her um, it was it was really like a good way to give her an opportunity to see how far she can go with her football um, and it's one that we're pretty happy that we can we can go through with her and I think on and off the field she's going to add a huge amount to this team. Yeah because what have you sort of seen from her since she's come back from the US because I guess prior to the Phoenix being here sometimes a player will go to the States and if they don't get a professional contract they may retire you know she's um, yeah. stuck with football so yeah what have you kind of seen from you from well, just this um, pure determination to not be put into that category she went to the states and she felt like she really developed in some areas um, and she came back and she's just been the best player so domestically she's been the best player she was the best player in every single Northern, North, uh, like a national league game that I've seen playing in sometimes three or four different positions and she just everything that she does she does at a high standard um, she has high expectations of herself and she came into some games with us in Auckland um, and put her hand up and just performed really really well in, in that environment so um, and then when you look at what she brings off the field um, I think she's going to be a, a, an amazing fit for the team. Yeah, so when you say games and all kind of is that with the FFDP? Yes, yeah, so she came into our A-League off-season programme and played a couple of games against boys during the off-season, yeah, so it was, um, she kind of put her hand up, asked for the opportunity, was given it and then we've just been tracking her um, for the last however long and yeah, when I spoke to her about taking up a scholarship spot, it was a no-brainer for her and yeah, she's pretty excited to get down here. Yeah, because I guess we often associate the scholarship spots with kind of younger players. Um, no issues with a 23-year-old taking on? No, I suppose it depends on how you determine younger player. If you look just age, then yeah, we've probably picked someone up a bit older, but if you look by experience, then she's, she's young in her football journey. So um, we're really pleased that we can still offer her an opportunity 
to progress on with her football and then she does well this year um, then there may be other opportunities for her and like, as a 23 year old she'll be mentally ready to take those. Yeah and we saw with Alyssa last season came in on a scholarship spot mm. like the football firms scored recently. Yeah. Is that sort of like the message to the scholarship players too is um, you know there's a World Cup next year you know if you have a good season or you, if you have a few good games, you get into the team, you play well, you know, and yeah. that's what the doors open up. Absolutely, and we wanted to offer the scholarship spots to players that would continue to add to the team and the team environment. And part of that is the competition within training and the competition for spots. So I've spoken to every single scholarship player and if they're performing better than anyone else, then they play. And that's kind of what happened to Alyssa. She took her chance and she blew us all away and showed that she was more than good enough for this level. And now she's been, you know, had that opportunity with the Ferns. And um, that's what we want. Like if anybody, anybody can get a spot in the team. And that's just going to drive the competitive edge that we want this season. Yep, and you've started pre-season. Um, how many more players still to sort of join the team? Are they play because Betsy's probably not here. Yet. Yeah, so Betsy and Paige are on their way, and then we've got a couple more spots still to confirm. Um, and then all the scholarship spots we've got. Um, Charlotte and Georgia are both with us now, and then um, Mona will join us next week, and so will Mickey. Yeah, and. Um, couple more spots to go after that mm -hmm. where are you sort of looking at those sort of players being? Yeah we're, we're pretty close um, we're just kind of getting the dotted line signed and a couple of really exciting players that I think um, you'll, you'll be happy with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay.